Within the heart of a vast continent, there is a crucible, a forge which has shaped the history that was and the history that will be written. It is a place where men and women were thrust into conflict, not because of choice, but because of necessity. In the Dark Ages, strife was perpetual within this unforgiving crucible, called Central Asia. A sublime landscape of steppes, jagged mountains, and ashen horizons, its children have become legends, admired, emulated. They have ventured forth from their birthplace, preserving their language and culture, crafting a legacy of not one, but numerous empires. These brave and unruly children, the Turks, were not always west of the Caspian or east of the Yangtze. They were underdogs, a minority of blacksmiths, shepherds, and craftsmen, outnumbered and eclipsed by powerful neighbors. In the middle of the sixth century, scattered by their many enemies and vassalized by the Avars, Turks were assumed to be of no consequence until two adventurous brothers made it their quest to unify the clans and liberate their people forever. They would create the first state with the word Turk in its very name and ensure that it would not be the last. These internet exclusives will detail the story and production of the first Gürkturk, the initial feature film of director Alper Kaglar's much-anticipated Gürkturk trilogy. It is the tale of Bumin and Istemi, two brothers whose exploits would create a series of monumental events that would indirectly shape the history of humanity. One and a half millennia after their founding, Gök Turks and their legacies remain in the hearts and minds of Turkic people and beyond. A meritocratic people who cherished timeless ideals far beyond their time, Gök Turks would foster the exchange of cultures, secure safe transit for the entirety of the Silk Road, and give unity to the disparate and squabbling peoples of the steppe. They would create an army nation responsible for staggering military achievements and innovations that would change how battles were fought for centuries to come. The Gürkturk trilogy represents a passion project for the director and his crew. Within this first of a series of internet exclusives, we will reach out and inform our most precious allies, the fans. These videos will tell of the concept design process and pre-production voyage of the films. It will showcase the strategic and creative aims of the project itself, introduce the crucial aspects of the mythic storytelling that will be present in the trilogy from the first scene to the last. Welcome to the Gürkturk Age. Historians have always illustrated the arrival of the Turks by climactic events like the Battle of Malazgirt and the conquest of Istanbul, moments that changed the course of Western history. However, as they emphasized these medieval moments, Western historians created a fog of indifference on an even more significant history that reached back millennia. This culture did not begin in Anatolia or the Middle East. They were born 4,000 kilometers to the east in the Altai Mountains. Their many clans journeyed outwards in Asia towards all directions. Today, you can find Turkic peoples from the coasts of the Pacific to the Balkans and beyond. This ethno-linguistic identity goes back to the ancient confederations of the Huns and the Saka. Because their ascent is so dramatic, and so far-reaching in consequence, the Gürkturks have always represented a watershed moment in the history of Turks worldwide. Our passion is to show to the world that they are the progenitors of a history broader than the Ottoman and Seljuk Turks. Alper Kaglar lovingly views the Gürkturks as extraordinary outliers. They are the ultimate underdogs with outsized dreams, an epic blend of history and cultural myth for the director, they are a pure, untainted idea. The possibility of an empire so remarkable that as it exists on the edges of Western history, it forms the bedrock of the Eastern one. That first generation of steppe adventurers must have wondered where the end is, 
not the ending or taking of life, but how their story would be remembered. What was that feeling within them, giving them realization that they were in immortal service to their people, to be remembered and loved one and a half thousand years into the future? Too many historians and storytellers view the Dark Ages as the rush of the barbarians, the thrill predator hordes had when they found weaker prey. But the irony is, Gurkturks were considered the prey. They were the dark horses, the long shots, the slim chances. How did Boomin, Istemi, and their fellowship know that their hope was not a lost cause? Did they ever consider they would become legends? They must have, for theirs was an old idea made new, an idea made immortal. That idea is the foundation on which the story of the first Gurkturk rests, liberty. Join us next time in part two when we explore world design within the story and reveal a revolutionary way that you can support the films.